Hello everyone, welcome in the sixth part of my tutorial Microservices on Kubernetes. Today we will build a simple service mesh using Istio framework. We will use the same code base that has been created during previous part of my tutorial, where I show you how to use Spring Boot to implement a simple microservices architecture, deploy it on Kubernetes and expose outside Kubernetes cluster. In order to show you some basic Istio features, I will deploy two versions of the same application on Kubernetes. To do that, I need to provide some kind of feature toggle on the application side. This feature toggle will be based on Kubernetes labels. So the first thing I need to do is to inject those labels into the container. To do that, I need to use Downward API. Downward API will create a file with a list of labels and save it inside mounted volume. And uh, I will also create the second version of employee deployment, which is the same as the first version, but labeled with version V2. Now I just need to implement a bin responsible for retrieving a value of version from the mounted volume. It will read a file inside location etc put in for labels. I need to find the line with version and extract the version number from that line. Also, differences between two versions of employee service are very trivial. Uh, I will just change the API object returned uh, by the service. So in version two, I will use a single field name instead of first name and last name used in the first version of application. Now I just need to provide an implementation inside controller. So I need to inject a bin responsible for retrieving a version number and basing on this number, I will return a different implementation of DTO object. And finally, I just need to map an object returned by the repository bin into a right implementation of DTO. We have two deployments defined, but we are still basing on a single service to expose them. I'm assuming you have already installed Istio on your cluster and enabled it for the default namespace. In the first step, I'm going to define Istio destination rule. Inside destination rule, we may define a list of subsets we are basing on the Kubernetes labels. In our case, it is label version. Since we have two versions of each application, we are defining two subsets inside destination rule. After defining destination rule, we may proceed to the creating the most important element for Istio. It is a virtual service. Inside virtual service, we are going to define a rules for request routing. We may define that there are many rules, but in our case, we will use an X version HTTP header for routing between two versions of each application. If the value of a header is V1, the request is forwarded to the ports annotated with label version V1. Otherwise, it is forwarded to the ports annotated with version V2. Okay, so now, now we will focus on inter-service communication. We will change uh, deployment definition of uh, department service, the same as we have done it for employee service. We are also creating the same Istio destination rule and virtual service for uh, department service. And the last thing we need to do in this phase is to create an interceptor responsible for setting a header X version on the REST template client. So we need to define a client HTTP request interceptor component, inject the version bin there and set a header X version before sending a request to other microservices.
and we just need to inject this interceptor into REST template builder. We have already finished declaration of VC rules responsible for intercommunication. Now we may proceed to exposing our microservices outside Kubernetes cluster. We should define Istio gateway object for that. We need to set a default listening port on the gateway and a list of virtual hosts used for searching a right gateway for the request. In the next step, each virtual service needs to reference to the already created gateway. We'll still use header X version for routing, but we need to base on the request path for routing between services. So if a prefix of a request is, for example, employee, a request is forwarded to the employee service. We also need to do a rewrite rule, so we need to cut this prefix when sending a request to the downstream service. I have already deployed all microservices on Kubernetes cluster. We just need to apply a role responsible for creating Istio gateway. Let's verify a list of deployments. There are six deployments. Each application is deployed in two versions. We may also take a look on list of virtual services. There are six virtual services, two virtual services per each application. First for gateway, second for intercommunication. And now we are going to create a send some test requests. We are setting a header host to microservices example.com and header X version, in this case to version one. So a gateway is basing on these headers and URI HTTP localhost department for forwarding a request to the downstream service. You see that everything works following expectations. We are going to add some test data to all the instances of application. We are adding some employees, some departments, and now we may take a look that uh, versioning works perfectly fine. You see that I have set a header X version v1 and now employee has been returned with fields first name and last name. For the second version, it's contained just a field name. Now we will do the same test for department service. We will set a version v1 and we will also set a version v2 and you see that still working following our expectations. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this part of my course. In the next part, the seventh part called traffic management, we will still discuss the same topic. I will show you some more advanced scenarios of using Istio for traffic management in microservices architecture.